Creating a border for your raised bed by digthedirt.com. Today we're going to create a border with two and a half inch Buddha statues. We're going to be creating stakes for these Buddha statues to put on the bottom so that they don't roll over in your garden. This is going to help um, keep them upright and to make sure that they're facing out in the correct direction. Here's a list of the materials that you'll need. You can also find this on digthedirt.com. You're going to need 3 16 of an inch of round steel bolt that you can find at any hardware store. A fender washer the same size as your bolt. A caulking gun and two part epoxy. A hammer drill with a 3 16 inch drill bit same as your stake. And a vice grip. You're going to need a rubber mat, but you can also use a towel or a blanket. The hole for your object should be just a little bit smaller than the object itself. You're going to place a towel over the wood and then put your object on top, upside down. Tighten your vice grip all the way so that it's in there nice and snugly. Start drilling. So you want to start off really slow at first just to get it in there and then you can speed it up a little bit. You want to make sure that you're drilling down about two inches or a half an inch from where the object ends not to drill all the way through. You can use your drill bit as a measurer to make sure that you're not drilling all the way down and through the object. Blow into the hole sharply to get rid of excess dust. Okay, now let's make our stakes. They should be about 8 inches long. Now we're going to use our grinder to make a point at the end of our bolt. Turn it slowly until there's a sharp point. Now we're going to use our glue and make sure that there's a lot of glue on the end so that it gets all over the bottom. Take out your object and slowly screw the stake into the object. Your fender washer is the same size as your drill bit. Put it over and then tap it down so that the glue spreads out evenly. It takes about three hours for the glue to set, so make sure to sit it upright in some gravel or soil. Okay, now that they're dry, we can put them in the ground. Go with the natural edge of the bed. Push them all the way down, and then face them out in the direction that you want them to go. And now we have a great border for our raised bed. You can use anything you want, any object. You can use rocks, shells, small statues, but just make sure to be creative. That's the most important part. For more information, you can go to digthedirt.com. To watch more videos, see Raised Beds for Planting or How to Build a Raised Vegetable Garden Bed on Dig the Dirt TV on YouTube.